This is ABC, Allen Broadcasting Company from London. Today, let's discuss the book The One Thing by Gary Keller and Jay Papasan. Let me start off with the Russian power. If you chase between, behind two uh, rabbits, you're going to catch neither of them. That, the, how is that implicable for the one thing? As the author says, uh, you, uh, you, you cannot do multiple tasks to achieve one successful goal. He says on to stick on to one fo goal and focus till that's completed to reach a success. The few points that are discussed in the book, which I would like to discuss here, are the domino effect, the one thing, success list, and goal for now. Now, what do you mean by domino effect? Let's see, uh, are, you, are you aware of these tiny dominoes? You must have seen the videos other places where the dominoes topple off each other in a sequence. Well, the domino has a power to uh, topple over an, another domino which is 50% of its more of its size. So, if you are going to stack up a lot of dominoes, so beginning from the 2 inch normal domino to 3 inch to 4.5 inch, that is growing, uh, making it grow, by the 10th domino you are actually going to reach, uh, uh, you will have a domino which is as high as a, as a man. And when you reach the 23rd domino, it's going to be as tall, tall as your uh, uh, Eiffel Tower. Now, if you go further more, to 31 that is actually going to be even bigger than the Mount Everest and then what happens when you reach the 57th domino you will reach that it is actually touching the moon so you can see that one small domino which is it has the power to topple off its next uh, domino of three three inches and this will continue till it reaches the 57th domino and it's going to push over so what I want, to, what I'm trying to say is that if you focus on one goal, one at a time, one small task at a time, and you will be able to create a momentum and push forward your, um, push forward and succeed your goal. So you're supposed to identify the key important tasks and line them up, and then slowly knock one out of each other because you will be able to do it in that momentum. So now you know that you have to identify the key task and you can get your one thing but now to get but if you are not sure if you have a vague idea like let's make it a little more precise how uh, precise your one thing. So for that we are going to do something called extreme 8020. Now what is extreme 8020? For that I am going to tell you a story. Of about a person called uh, Wilfredo Pareto. He was an uh, Italian economist and he had come across a principle that is 20% um, of the population had the 80% of the wealth and it was and this is actually quite applicable in different other fields like 20% uh, of uh, beer dingers are the 80 percent of uh, the consumers so this is different applicable in so many fields so how is it applicable for us well I, what I want you to do is take your all the tasks uh, figure out which 20 percent of your tasks actually create the 80 percent of impact in your life and now you have this you have you have found this now let's take it few steps forward that is you take that 20 percent and then again find its 20 percent so you keep dividing it and at last you will reach at one thing which has the most impact in your life well that's it you have figured it out what is your one thing you have to do so you are going to single out the most impacted task that you need so now, uh, how are you going to get that? Like, what are you supposed to do? Well, for that, we need to create a success list. Well, not a to-do list. A to-do list is a bunch of so many things where you just check as you go. Well, that's confusing and it's, it could take you to the wrong places. So, that's not the way. 
we have to create a success list, a list of the goals you have to achieve to reach your one thing. So it, 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 what it does is it separates the few, the main important few things from the other main unimportant things. That is to separate the vital few from the trivial many. That you just need to focus on your core things and that comes in your list. So, you, uh, so then you have to follow this list to make sure that you reach the one thing. Now, since you have a success list, now let's uh, think about what you'll do for the goal you have now. How are you going to achieve this goal now? So, what I would say is like you have to set your goal, you have to set your time and you have to set your focus. Now, these three things is just particularly for your own one thing. The one thing which is only applicable to you. So, the, to set your goal, what I want you to do is to think what is your someday goal. Like, and may, like what do you want to achieve at last in life? That is your someday goal. Well, what I want you to actually think about your someday goal. The one thing goal you have to achieve someday. What is it? You list it out. Then uh, you will probably find out when you do your 80-20 rule and you will find out what is your someday goal. And once you have your someday goal, you can actually predict in f f 5 years time what your goal should be and where you should do, where you should be and do to re reach your someday goal. Then we go to your, then just think in this year what are you supposed to do to achieve your 5 year goal and then you impact your someday goal. Then this month, what are you supposed to do this month? The only one thing that you will, you require to achieve your one year goal, then your five year goal, then then your someday goal. Then what are you supposed to do this week? The one thing you have to do this week, which in turn affects your, your monthly goal, then your yearly goal, then your five yearly goal, and ultimately your someday goal. Then uh, then now you then since you have your week planned out now we can know what you have to do this day so that helps your uh, weekly goal and then your monthly goal your yearly goal your five yearly goal and without you knowing you are going to impact your someday goal and then then you you you, you can even plan your day split your days early and actually plan ahead of each hour what are you going to do to do a someday goal. Well, if you were trying to do it the other way around, you would have been lost. But if you go down this way, you actually will reach your goal. And your someday goal will be just at, at the reach of your arms. So, what are you doing right now to achieve uh, your someday goal? Well, at least you are right now watching me. And this could ultimately help you to reach your someday goal. So uh, set your time. Well, now we have planned out your uh, five-year goals, like your someday goal, and we have already time, time separated your uh, goals. Well, we can make it even more time-bound. Make sure you focus. You uh, when you're doing, when you're spending time for your one thing. Remember, your one thing. When you're spending time for your one thing, you exclusively spend time for it. No notifications. No one's calling. Everything's avoided. And that's how you set your time. You block your time exclusively for this project. And then set your focus. Make sure that you have your full focus and your full efficiency on your right, on the right way and the right path. And then you, you will be able to actually find easy easier for you to climb up the ladder and then reach your someday goal. So all I want to say is what Josh Billing said. Stick, uh, be like a postage stamp. You stick on until you get there. Stick on to your one thing until you achieve your someday goal. Thank you. Thanks for watching.